Live 5 News starts now with breaking news. Right now we continue to follow that breaking news out of North Charleston where dispatch confirms authorities were responding to reports of shots fired. The incident happening at 2245 Cosgrove Avenue. Our Colby Satterfield is at the scene right now. Colby, we have learned that two people have been shot. Debbie, yes, both a 17 and 18 year old male were shot here. To give you some context, we're right at the intersection of Azalea and Cosgrove Avenue, and that's where those two suspects were reportedly shot. A, a witness said that he heard gunshots and two male victims flee from the scene. Now, those two men that were shot ran here to Mott Avenue and went inside of a home. That's whenever um, someone called in the reference to a shooting victim. They got here, they had two of those men who had both been shot in the leg. Now, I'm going to give you an idea of where I'm at. I'm at the intersection of Azalea and Cosgrove, but also we are very close. Mary Ford Elementary School is right across the field. So where this all happened was just right off the road near elementary school, and it happened shortly after four, right as school was letting out. I've seen several kids still leaving, maybe extracurricular activities or their parents picking them up across the road because this crime scene kind of got in the way and shut down the road. But Mott Avenue and also Thompsonia McPherson Road is both back open in this area. Now we'll continue um, to follow this story as we get more information. But for now, live in North Charleston, Colby Satterfield, Live 5 News. And we continue to follow that breaking news out of Maryland, where a Black Hawk helicopter crashed near a golf course. Authorities say three people were on board. Two were injured. Witnesses say the chopper was flying low and almost was flying sideways before starting to spin and then go down. This is the second military aircraft to go down in southern Maryland this month after an F-16 jet crashed on April 5th. The pilot in that accident ejected before the crash. This is a developing situation. Of course, we'll update you as soon as we learn more information.